Grammy nominations 2024 record of the year worship John Batiste uh whatever not strong enough boy genius hell yeah I said I said it would take a miracle for not strong enough to get nominated and a miracle happened this song is so good I love not strong enough totally deserved I'm very happy about that flowers Miley Cyrus whatever I'm just not personally crazy about that track what was I made for Billie Eilish I knew that was a shoe in one of the best ballads of the year. I'm very happy with that. Oh, my mama, Victoria Monet. Okay, Victoria getting some love. That's cool. Vampire Olivia Rodrigo, another shoe in another one of the great piano ballads of the year. Obviously, it picks up towards the end in a great way. Anti-hero Taylor Swift and Kill Bill SZA. This is kind of what I expected it to be besides uh, John Batiste, which, you know, I'm not happy about. And I didn't expect Not Strong Enough by Boy Genius to be on here either, but I'm ecstatic about it. Album of the year. World Music Radio, John Batiste. Why? Why? I don't even think he necessarily like deserved the album that he won Album of the Year for last time, but this album is much worse than that album. This album is such a big cluster in comparison. I don't think John Batiste deserves it this year, especially. Um, the record Boy Genius, though. Oh my God, what? Boy Genius is getting some noms in the major categories. I said. I said when I was guessing what the nominations were going to be that uh, the Grammys hate indie darlings. And that's true. Typically, they hate indie darlings. They almost never nominate people like Fiona Apple in the major categories. They never nominate people like Mitski in the major categories. All right. Endless Summer Vacation, Miley Cyrus. One of my least favorite pop records of the year. I think it's a total mess. I really, uh, I'm still sad that she didn't stick with the rock sound she had on Plastic Hearts. Um, but did you know there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? I was wrong. I said that they weren't going to nominate it. Again, I think that people like Lana get swept under the rug a lot. Happy with that. I'm happy to see Lana get nominated in a major category. Age of Pleasure, Janelle Monae. Not one of my favorite Janelle Monae albums. Guts Olivia Rodrigo. Had to be there. Midnight's Taylor Swift. Not a huge fan of the album, but I knew it was going to be there. Um, and SOS SZA. Okay. Thank God. I think it would have been a massive snub if SOS didn't uh, get nominated. Any of these albums winning, I think I'd be okay with. Guts, SOS, uh, Ocean Boulevard, and The Record. I'm okay with all of those albums winning. Uh, what I really don't want to win is John Batiste again, Midnight's, uh, I, and Miley Cyrus. I, I don't want those albums to win. I don't think this was a great year for hip hop in general, besides the underground and the mainstream, not a great year for hip hop. But I am a little surprised that Metro Boomin didn't get a nomination. I am a little surprised that Travis Scott didn't get a nomination. Song of the Year, A and W, Lana Del Rey. Oh my God. Okay, the Grammys are actually kind of killing it so far. A and W. Oh my God. There are there are so many years where. There isn't a single song or album I want to root for in the major categories. And so far, there's been a lot. I'm loving that Lana Del Rey is getting some love. I love that Boy Genius is getting some love. This is this is sick. Anti-hero Taylor Swift, not a huge fan of the track, but um, I expected it to be here. Butterfly John Batiste, okay. Dance the Night, hell yeah. Nice, like, upbeat, funky, um, disco-inspired track. Flowers, Miley Cyrus, oh my god. Like, for a songwriting award, really? I just don't think the songwriting on Flowers is, like, that good at all, really. All right, SZA, yeah, Kill Bill should be in here, I guess, if we're going to put a SZA track in there. I think this is the only one they submitted for Song of the Year, but I do think that there are better songs off of the SZA album. Vampire Lady Rodrigo, some Olivia's best songwriting. I'm happy that it's on here. Definitely deserves a nomination for a songwriting award. And What Was I Made For uh, is great, too. So... Honestly, pretty happy with this category, too. I don't know how John Batiste keeps sneaking his way in here. <laughs> yeah, I interesting. No Boy Genius nom on Song of the Year, but is for Record of the Year. So that's kind of interesting. But all right. Uh, best New Artist. This is another big one. Gracie Abrams. Okay. I kind of saw that coming. Fred again. Thank God. If Fred again didn't get a nomination, that would be a tragedy. Ice Spice. Cool. Expected that to be there. Jelly Roll. Also expected that to be here. Coco Jones. Noah Khan, yep, saw that coming. And uh, Victoria Monet. Okay, I, I, I know it's weird that way. Like, I know, listen, I know the best new artist category is kind of like a, a silly category in terms of uh, who is defined as a new artist. And Victoria Monet definitely isn't, but whatever. Cool to see her on here anyway. And the War and Treaty. I'm happy with a lot of the nominations here. Who is, who's missing, chat? 
Oh, yeah, no Leve. The fact that Leve isn't nominated is uh, kind of crazy to me. Also, no Pink Panthers. Honestly, I feel like this nominations list is fine. It's fine. Oh, Zach Bryan. Did Zach Bryan submit for Best New Artist? Um, I, I don't think this is a bad category, though. I think that um, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm very happy about Fred again. So I'm really... Who am I rooting for here? I'm probably rooting for Fred again in this category. Okay, Producer of the Year, non-classical. Jack Ananoff, Hit Boy, Metro Boomin. Honestly, give it to Hit Boy. Give it to Hit Boy or Metro Boomin. I think Hit Boy, with his recent run in the 2020s with Nas and the stuff he's done outside of it, I think uh, it would be nice if Hit Boy got an award. I think that would be really nice. Jack already Jack already won it. Dan Aguirre is a good option too. I don't know what else he did besides the Olivia Rodrigo album, but I think Guts was produced phenomenally. So best pop solo performance. Flowers, Paint the Town Red, What Was I Made For, Vampire and Antihero. Get Flowers out of here. Get Flowers out of here. Replace it with like, I don't know, like replace it with like Boys a Liar Part 2 or something like that. You know, I don't think Flowers belongs here. Um, and I don't think Antihero belongs here either. I'm definitely rooting for Olivia or Billy in this category. I think, you know, give it to Olivia. Um, I, I do think the Doja Cat song's good too, though. So um, these three I really like. The other two uh, can go. Okay, best pop duo slash group performance. Thousand Miles by Miley Cyrus and Brandy Carlisle. Okay. Candy Necklace, Lana Del Rey featuring John Batiste. Okay. This is the one award that I feel like John Batiste really deserves a nomination for if he's going to be nominated. Because honestly, Candy Necklace is the song that grew on me the most out of any of the tracks on that album. Never Felt So Alone, Labyrinth, and Billie Eilish. Karma, Taylor Swift, and Ice Spice. <laughs> one of the most ill-fitting collaborations in pop music in the last couple years is nominated for a Grammy and for what? It just doesn't make any sense. Like karma definitely got worse. I don't even I don't even know anybody who has ever said that they prefer to listen to the Ice Spice version of Karma. It's a worse song. It's a worse song. It doesn't deserve to get nominated for a Grammy when the duo aspect of it actually made the original song worse. Ghost in the Machine, SZA, and Phoebe Bridgers. That's what I'm rooting for. Uh, hell yeah. I, th what a great nomination. What a great unlikely combo. But where's A Boy's a Liar Part 2? If, if Ice Spice is going to get nominated in this category, it should be for Boy's a Liar, not fucking Karma. A song that she didn't even really like belong on in the first place, in my opinion. All right. Best pop vocal album. Chemistry, Kelly Clarkson. Endless Summer Vacation, Miley Cyrus. Guts, Olivia Rodrigo, Subtract, Ed Sheeran, and Midnight's Taylor Swift. Uh, I did expect Kelly Clarkson to get a nod here. Um, we also predicted Endless Summer Vacation, Guts as a shoe in The only album I'd be okay with winning in this category is Guts. If Guts doesn't take this, I'll be upset. Electronic Recording, Aphex Twin, okay, that, that was a pretty good, like, little project. Uh, Loading James Blake, okay, yeah, that was a good album. Higher Than Ever Before Disclosure, that was okay. Strong, uh, Rami and Fred again, yes. And, uh, Rumble Skrillex, Fred again. Yeah, give it to Fred again. I'm okay with either of these songs uh, winning for Fred again. So, best pop dance recording. Baby Don't Hurt Me. Okay, whatever. I don't really care about these tracks. Oh, Rush? Give it to Rush. Give it to Troy. That song is so fun. Love that song. Uh, yeah, Rush, Troy, Savon. I I'd be super happy with that. Best dance electronic album, playing Robots in Heaven, James Blake. That was good for that beautiful feeling. Chemical Brothers, that was also good. Actual Life 3, Fred again. Give it to Fred again. Quest for Fire is fine. Uh, give it to Fred again. Best rock performance. Sculptures of Anything Goes, Arctic Monkeys, okay. More Than a Love Song, Black Pumas, okay. Not Strong Enough, Boy Genius. Okay, yes, love that. Rescued Foo Fighters, love that. Not crazy about this Metallica song. So I want Not Strong Enough, Boy Genius. Give it to the boys. Give it to Boy Genius. Not crazy about the Arctic Monkeys track. Black Pumas was fine, but I'd love... I'd love a Boy Genius win. Okay, uh, Best Metal Performance, Disturbed, Ghost, Metallica, Slipknot, Spirit Box. Give it to Spirit Box. Best Rock Song, Rolling Stones. That wasn't one that bad. Oh, Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. Ooh, imagine the people that would be so mad. Imagine the old heads. Imagine how mad they'd be that Olivia Rodrigo wins Best Rock Song. But I would, I I'd love it. I'd, I'd love for that to happen. Boy Genius, I'm okay with too. Rescue to Foo Fighters, I'm okay with as well. So I'd love to see Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl win or Not Strong Enough or Foo Fighters. Best rock album, but here we are. Foo Fighters, yes. This is why Paramore got a nom. Yes, yes. I think Paramore should have gotten a nomination in the major categories at least once, 
but I'll take it. I'll take it in the rock categories. I'll take it in the rock category. Um, this is why bangs easy. One of my favorite rock albums of the year. And I also love the Foo Fighters album too, but give it to Paramore. I think Paramore deserves it. Love that album. Huge W for Paramore. Best alternative music performance. Always. Ooh, always getting a nom. Arctic Monkeys. Boy Genius. Cool about it. Great. A&W, Lana Del Rey. This is why Paramore. Great category. Great category. The only one I don't want to win is Arctic Monkeys because I'm just not crazy about body paint. I'm not crazy about that whole album. But give it to Always, Boy Genius, Lana Del Rey, Paramore. Uh, I'm happy no matter what. If I had to pick my favorite song out of this, it would probably be a and I love all of these songs pretty much besides Arctic Monkeys. But best alternative music album, The Car. Okay, whatever. The record. Hell yes. Did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Lana Del Rey. Yes. Cracker Island. It was just okay. And PJ Harvey. The PJ Harvey album I thought was really good too. Lana Del Rey, PJ Harvey, Boy Genius. I'm okay with all of those. How did Mitski not get a nomination in this category. God fucking damn it. Where is like where is the Mitski love? Why isn't Mitski ever this is this is fucked up. Okay, best R and B performance, Summer Do Hot Chris Chris Brown. Still giving Chris Brown nominations. Victoria Monet SZA. Okay, give it to Victoria Monet or SZA, but uh Chris Brown, what are we doing, bro? Why? 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 His music's not even good anymore. When somebody like Chris Brown has done the things that he's done to women in the music industry and he's not putting out good music like there just is no excuse like he, he didn't make anything so undeniable that you just need to nominate it for a grammy it's fucking disgusting best r&b song hallie robert glasper coco jones victoria monet sissa give it to sissa best progressive r&b album black diddy janelle monet sissa it's sissa it says all day best r&b album girls night out coco jones victoria monet summer walker this is an ep but this is a great ep i'd actually love for summer walker to take this one best rap performance no way there's no way the hillbillies got nominated that is so funny that is so funny that the Hillbillies got nominated. Baby Keem and Kendrick, that is, that's great. Love that. Love Letter by Black Thought, okay. And uh, Rich Flex, Drake, uh, 21 Savage, 21, can you do something for me? Uh, scientists and Engineers, uh, Killer Mike featuring Andre 3000 and Future, uh, that song's great. So I'm actually very happy with that. And the Coil Array Players, okay, whatever. Best melodic rap performance is uh, Sitting on Top of the World. Burna Boy and 21 Savage, Attention, Doja Cat, that's a great track, Spin Bout You, Drake and 21 Savage, okay, All My Life, Lil Durk and J. Cole, it's all right, um, and Low SZA, Low, okay, SZA getting a nomination in a rap category, that's sick, I think Attention and Low are probably the best songs here, I'm not super passionate about this category in general, I'm not gonna lie, best rap song, Attention, Barbie World, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a banger, hell yeah, uh, Just Wanna Rock, uh, Lil Z, all right, Barely, it's barely a rap song. Rich Flex. Um, okay, Drake, 21 Savage. Scientists and Engineers. Give it to Scientists and Engineers or Attention, I think, in this category. Both of those songs are are really good, but I'd be okay with Barbie World too, honestly. That's a, that's a fun track. All right, best rap album, Her Loss, Michael, Heroes and Villains, King's Disease 3, Nas, uh, Utopia, Travis Scott. This is kind of what I expected it to look like. Yeah, okay. It's cool that Killer Mike gets a nomination. I think it's uh, very much expected of the other ones, though. Um, Nas has been nominated for every King's Disease album, I think. Uh, I think King's Disease 3 is great. I'd be totally happy with Nas winning it. A Utopia, Travis Scott, Metro Boomin, uh, Killer Mike, 20... Yeah, I'm okay with all of these. I mean, there isn't really a bad album in this list, so... Um, I'm okay with this category. I think are, there, are those all the major categories? Okay. Overall, I think this was actually like a pretty decent year. Um, uh, I don't like the Mitski snub, but I expected that. It's really cool to see Boy Genius get so many nominations in the major categories. I would have loved to see Paramore up there in the major categories too, though. But uh, honestly, the Grammys didn't fuck it up too bad this year. There's a lot for me to root for. I think a lot of years, uh, they just give me nothing to care about. Yeah, and also, I think Leve should have gotten nominated in Best New Artist, too. I, th I think Leve deserved a nod in Best New Artist. But besides that, I'm happy. Are, are you guys happy? Because I'm actually pretty happy with it. Like, I'm okay with this year. Like, I I'm okay. Like, the boys got noms. Uh, Paramore got some noms in the rock categories. Like, you can only ask for so much with the Grammys. So, like, I'm happy that, like, anybody that I think deserves to get a nomination did.